All right, welcome back. Uh, so today what we're going to talk about is uh, a thing called Tkinter uh, for making graphical user interfaces uh, and a thing called MQTT uh, for communicating like from your computer uh, to the EV3 robot. Now, to be honest, this is kind of a, a big step up. Um, so we've kind of been learning about uh, drive motors and digital inputs, uh, and we're going to kind of take things up to the next level. So I just kind of want you to be aware, hey, it's going to be like a big step up. Uh, so let's talk about uh, what are we going to tell you about? What are these two topics, uh, Tkinter and MQTT? So um, I'll mention MQTT first. Uh, the way MQTT works is that your computer uh, communicates with some server. Uh, the server is called the broker. Uh, and the computer on the EV3 also talks to that same server, that same broker. Um, and both of you have the ability to publish messages uh, to that server. And you also have the ability to subscribe to receive messages from that server. And the way the system works is you set up what's called a topic. Um, and so you publish to a topic um, or you subscribe to a topic. And that's how you transfer messages back and forth. It's also kind of interesting because it doesn't have to be like from your computer to an EV3. It can be from your computer to somebody else's computer. Um, it doesn't matter. Just some computer talking to some server. Um, and this MQTT that stands for message queue uh, telemetry transport, who cares what it stands for, right? Uh, that's the tool we're going to be using to communicate to your robot from your computer. Now, in order to like make this communication more fun, uh, you need a program running on your computer, right? And most of our programs are just like code that just kind of runs top to bottom. Um, and it really wouldn't be a very fun thing to interact with. Uh, so what we're going to do is on your computer, we're going to have you make graphical user interfaces, uh, GUI for short. Uh, using a thing called Tkinter. Uh, Tkinter uh, has been around for a long time in Pro Python. It's based on the uh, the TK uh, framework. So the TK framework has been around for like since the 90s, right? Um, and so the TK interface, uh, they smooshed it together and they call it Tkinter, right? So we're going to be learning about Tkinter. The main thing we're going to be learning about is uh, a thing called labels. So if you want to put text on the screen, uh, buttons, so you can click on the buttons. Uh, and a thing called entry boxes, so you can type in values and things like that. Uh, we'll also be doing a little bit with layout uh, and the grid. So we're going to be learning to Kinter, and then we're going to be learning uh, MQTT. The way we're going to structure this unit is we're actually going to kind of learn to Kinter together in these videos, uh, and then your modules are going to be all about MQTT, but they're going to use to Kinter. Um, and in order to make them make some sense to you, we're going to spend some time talking about to Kinter first. I uh, also mentioned that in these modules uh, that you'll work, uh, you know, when you're done with these videos, uh, you'll work them together as a team. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, communicate using MQTT from computer to computer, because that works just as well, all right, for MQTT communication. Um, and fewer things go wrong uh, when you don't have a robot involved, right? So just kind of letting you know that when we learn MQTT, we're going to be using Tkinter uh, and MQTT without the robots. Uh, and then what our goal is for this unit is to get to where you can use MQTT to Kinter and the EV3 all together. Uh, so here's kind of the uh, the learning objectives we're going for. Uh, let's look at a demo uh, of the end goal. Uh, so the end goal is that you're going to make a remote control, uh, which is obviously one thing that you can do with these tools uh, to control your robot. Your remote control is going to look like this. It's going to have a forwards, a backwards, a left, a right, and a stop button. You kind of expect uh, what those are. You're going to be able to set the speed for the left and right motor. Now these speeds are independent, which is a little weird, but if you say forwards right now, if I were to click forwards, it'd go forwards at 600, 600. If I were to change just the right to 900 and click forwards, it'd go um, a little faster on the right. So it'd go like 600, 900, so it'd be a little faster on the right. So it'd actually kind of arc. Uh, and then really all backwards does is it just takes those two numbers and it slaps a negative in front of them. Um, and all left does, which is interesting, uh, is it just takes that number on the left and it slaps a negative in front of it. Uh, and it takes the number on the right and it keeps it positive, right? So if you, let's say you did like 200 here and like 600 here, uh, and you hit left, it would actually do negative 200, positive 600, and so it just kind of turned that way. Uh, and so that's kind of how this top area works. You're going to have to make that GUI. Uh, I think quite a bit of it's provided for you. We'll, we'll work some of it together. Um, and then an up-down button for the arm to go up and down. Uh, and then an exit and a quit button. These two are kind of funny. It's like, why are there two? Um, quit is for like, just quit the program on your computer. 
uh, exit sends a message to your robot that says, hey, shut down your program too. Uh, so there's two buttons there, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's watch a demo video of it really quick. Uh, so the idea of this demo video um, is that I'm using... A um, demo video driving around. Uh, let's see if I can <laughs> use my... So I'm using my GUI here, obviously. Perform a task. Turn my volume down a little. So the arrow keys let you... And you'll notice that uh, around, I'm using the arrow uh, keys. Uh, and and that's because to Kenter, uh, you can click the buttons with your mouse. But to be honest, that's kind of a Check pain. It, it's, it's better to, to bind to certain keys. So in this remote control, we'll bind to certain keys. Set that one down there. Um, so on mine, I've got like U and J to up, and J is down for the arm. Uh, I've got the arrow back. keys mapped uh, to do back, forward, left, right, uh, and I've got space bar for stop the, the robot. Um, and you can see that like with MQTT, it, it passes messages pretty quickly, um, and you can drive your robot around from your computer, which is kind of cool. Uh, so in my little task here, I just tried to pick these two things up. We, we don't provide anything for you to pick up, so you have to kind of come up with your own objects if you want to pick something up. Um, but you can see that you can drive it around uh, with a remote control from your computer. I should have really shown the buttons clicking here too, but I only showed the, uh, the keyboard just because the keyboard works so much better. Uh, cool, so there's a little uh, demo video, uh, and that's what we're going to be working on this time. Uh, I usually also provide you with a little tip uh, in this opening session, uh, and my only tip this time is when you start doing this, like you've got a program running on your computer and a program running on the EV3, um, I'll recommend that you use two different computers for it, just because it gets confusing, right? Because um, you know you have one computer that's running to Kinter uh, and it's talking to the robot, um, and then you have some other computer um, and it's the one that actually is using SSH with the robot um, and it's making the program start and stop, things like that. You can do it all from one computer. You can have your Tekinter GUI running and you can have your SSH window uh, also running and you can do it from one computer, but it gets confusing. So my tip is to use two different computers uh, whenever you're doing some of this MQTT work. All right, uh, that's all I got for this time. Uh, next time we're going to come back and we're going to start uh, working through Tekinter uh, and we'll do that uh, together and then we'll start talking about communication with MQTT. All right, see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.